Good morning guys, I'm now having my cup of joe, today I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day um, on lazy keto and what causes me to basically drop the pounds for right now I guess. So I just wanted to show you guys, sorry I had like a separate, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys um, this is what I make my coffee in. Um, I actually brought this from Walmart. It's nothing special, honestly, you guys. It's just a regular coffee maker. I actually brought it really cheap. This is the brand of coffee that I have, that I use, sorry, to make my coffee, Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I used to be a Folgers girl, but I ended up switching to Dunkin' Donuts because I thought it was cheaper. And they're actually, they do both the same thing. I mean, I love Folgers too, but they really do the same thing. And the last thing that I do add is a little bit of half and half into my coffee. And this is from Great Value, so of course, you know, that's Walmart. And last but not least, I add Tarani. I think that's how you pronounce it, French vanilla, um, sugar-free French vanilla, sorry. I add this in there to make it a little bit sweet for myself because honestly, I could drink coffee with just half and half and the coffee, but some nights um, I don't get enough sleep because my, you know, my kids are young, so I need the energy. So when I do put Tarani in there, it's perfect. Good morning guys like I am so much more alive after having that coffee <laughs> I was literally dead this morning like I literally woke up cleaned off my face brushed my teeth and went and had coffee <laughs> so um as you can see honestly it's like 10 33 right now um I kind of wanted to go ahead and eat I typically eat around 11 a.m um because, I mean, that's just the time that I felt, I always feel like I want to eat. Um, I don't do that. I tried doing it from 2 p.m. to, like, stop eating at 8 p.m. or 6 p.m. I can't remember which one it was, and that sure did not work out for me, guys. It sure as hell did not work out for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and add just some seasonings in these eggs, uh, because, I mean, boom, eggs is not good. Just add a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of onion powder. In this household, like everyone loves garlic, everyone loves onion powder, so we kind of put that in everything. <laughs> it makes everything taste good. Let me know down below if I'm not the only one that does this, because I just really love, love, love those two types of seasonings. Those they're like the go-to seasonings. You don't really need much after you do that. Yeah. So, well, excuse me, besides salt. You know, you do need salt, tell me what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. I usually pinch them, like this, because I don't want to end up dumping it, dumping way too much, I should say, because I'm going to end up adding some um, mozzarella cheese. So, I want it to not be so salty. I don't think mozzarella cheese is salty, actually, I don't. No, I don't remember last time I actually ate cheese on its own. <laughs> that's any that's weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up real quick. I have a little oil in my pot right here. Um I ran out of butter. I used to use caribou butter. I mean I still use it, but I ran out of that, so I was like, I'm just gonna use some oil, I don't really care right now. Um 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into the pot and we'll start cooking. done um, I went and transferred them onto another plate um, I didn't really use all of the eggs that I had I think I cooked like three eggs but I didn't use all of them because I'm not really that hungry in a way um, I, I'm saving the rest for my son so um, right here I have my low carb tortilla wrap that I am toasting a little bit get a little bread a little a little bread a little bit brown on the side so I can have it with my eggs and sausages guys I'm also adding some sausages um, just all around making the breakfast burrito um, I ended up adding some cheddar into my eggs because I thought I didn't have any but I did have some so yeah I just love cheese <laughs> okay so I have um, my wrap toasted I have my egg right here and yeah it's look like in, like it's gonna taste really good I mean I, I make these all the time so it's actually really delicious um, I got my sausages in the pan and I'm gonna go ahead and fry these up and add it to my wrap with some cheese and we'll be good to go it's done you guys I am so hungry uh, smelling these sausages I was like yes like I want to eat <laughs> so yeah that's what I have sometimes in the morning if not I have like um, those little oat flavored oatmeal packets you know like I said I'm lazy keto I do 50 carbs and or less so I do I do have a lot a little more carbs than others that do strict keto excuse me so um, I find it works for me because I don't get cravings I don't want to eat other things like you know I, I i feel satisfied so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and have this it's about 11 o'clock right now so technically i guess i did eat around 11 um so the next time um i will be putting up what i'm gonna have for dinner This is what I will be having for dinner. No, not like this. It's gonna be cooked. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I totally forgot to defrost the freaking bacon. So I have bacon here. Um, I have some cheddar cheese. I have some ranch dressing. I have my son walking into the kitchen, interrupting, probably making noise. <laughs> I got some. Life of a stay-at-home mom, right? I have some broccoli cuts. And I have this thing of ground beef that we already went into. So I'm just going to take some of that and cook. Um, I will be making a burger bowl. Um, i seen a video on YouTube that Tasty made this before. So I'm going to be following the same exact recipe. Um, except the only thing that's going to be different is that because I don't have any soda cans to form my patty, I will <laughs> go in the regular way and, I don't know, use a cup. Like, people find ways to do this, right? So, I'm going to be using a cup to do my, um, burger bowls and I haven't yet figured out what I'm going to be doing with the broccoli because originally I wanted to make broccoli fritters, but then I thought to myself, the burger bowl has a lot of cheese, so I don't want to do this right now. Thank you, Hunter. I don't want to do this right now, so I'm thinking, no problem. I'm thinking maybe I will just saute the broccoli, or my favorite, I will probably oven roast the broccoli. So I might just do that. Sorry, I have lipstick in my hand because my son just brought the lipstick to me. <laughs> so yeah, stick tuned so that you can see what I have for dinner, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I just made the bowls. 
and I'm supposed to actually put the filling in and let it sit in the freezer for like a few hours but I'm gonna do a few minutes because I don't have the time for that <laughs> and also too um the reason why I'm gonna put them in the freezer now is because I didn't really do the filling before doing the meat I don't know I don't listen <laughs> so I ended up doing the meat first and then I'm just gonna let it chill in there in the freezer freeze up you know get hard and uh no homo <laughs> um get hard um and then um put it in the freezer let it chill for a little bit um take it back out put the filling and go into the oven it goes so i finished freezing these yeah. up um they were in there for about like 10 minutes maybe even five because after i was done i kind of went and um after i put them in the freezer i kind of went and uh cleaned up the bedroom and the playroom and stuff like that so I have my filling right here um, there's ranch dressing in here um, cheddar cheese mild cheddar cheese bacon and I put a little bit of garlic and onion powder in here as well um, I'll leave a link to the recipe to this of you know like if you guys haven't heard from tasty uh, heard about tasty I'm sure you guys do know of tasty they are really big on Facebook if you do have any type of social media and you do see that they do make different types of recipes so I got this off of tasty so it actually smells really good and I actually tastes the filling and I like it really a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up right here and I was able to use half of the pack of the beef mind you I already told you I had already taken out a little bit out of it the other day because I made a um, seafood um, I did a shrimp and beef not uh, nacho so um, yeah so um, with the amount that I took this made about one two three four five um, patties and to be honest guys like I only put this in the friggin freezer for a little bit and it's like solidified like it's frozen frozen it's amazing no it's funny Every time I try to go into the, um, what do you call it, <laughs> the filling to eat, like to take a piece, to steal a piece of cheese or bacon or something, my mind automatically thinks like this has eggs in there and then I'm not supposed to eat it, which is so weird. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening to me right now. But, um, yeah, I'm very excited to have this. <laughs> I had text my fiance while he was at work and I told him, you know, you're about to have a really bomb, you know bomb ass <laughs> dinner tonight so i hope he's excited to have some of this his birthday's tomorrow and he turns um 29 so i'm very excited for this we've been together since he was 24 and i was 22 so we've been with each other for a very long time he's literally the love of my life guys he's like my best friend he's everything to me and i appreciate him so much like four years in and I still feel the same way about him like before like nothing has changed you know when the love is real nothing stands in the way of it honestly it really doesn't okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for 350 degrees for about 30 minutes I think it said I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and look on my phone just to double check and make sure that I did put these I'm gonna put these in correctly in the oven so yeah i'll be right back also too real quick guys i wanted to let you guys know that i honestly eyeball my food like i don't <laughs> i don't know if i said this in previous videos but i don't measure anything so basically i saw the instructions i saw how they did it and i eyeballed that into how i made it so basically i don't know how much carbs is in this honestly but i know that everything that's on here it's is keto so i know like the ranch dressing is let's see one grams of carb you know literally says it right there so i know like everything that's in here is not that much carb related so calorie wise um 
I was reading something, and this was not off of Tasty, this, this was off of, the, of another recipe for this um, burger bowl, and they were saying one of these is 690 calories, but then at the same time, I didn't make mine as big as the ones I was seeing because I it's just a family of four, two little babies, they're well, not babies anymore, but it's just me and my fiance, we don't eat that much, so I didn't want to make too many. So yeah, I just wanted to come in before I put this in the oven and just say like, you know, I don't have <laughs> like actual measurements for you guys. I only ever measure anything if it has to deal with baking because you know that has to be precise. But when it comes to food cooking, I don't measure at all. We are officially done, guys. We are officially done. And I have dinner sitting here. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. It smells so freaking delicious um of course it doesn't look like the picture because you know they probably photoshopped added a whole bunch of extra stuff on here but i'm giving you the real guys um my broccoli i decided not to let it roast because i'm kind of tired i've been running around with the kids cleaning up and i don't really feel like keeping an eye on it i didn't get enough sleep last night either so um i'm kind of just wing i just kind of want it to be cooked and call it a day but any other day i would definitely be roasting that bad boy but um i just wanted to let you show you guys what it looks like and it's so good the only downside i would say oops i hope i didn't block my mic but the only downside i would say about this meal is that the meat when the uh meatballs when they come out of the oven um there is a whole lot of oil you have the oil from the meat itself, the oil from the bacon, and oil from the cheese. Now, I cooked the, ba <coughs> the bacon before this, so, <coughs> excuse me guys. I cooked the bacon, I cut it up, and yeah, so there was like a whole lot of freaking oil. Um, I can actually show you guys right now, see? All that is from the actual food. So, <laughs> it's like, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the dinner. Um, I'm most likely gonna end the what I eat in a day right now, only because I'm probably gonna crash for the rest of the night, I'm not sure. But um, in between breakfast and this meal, I wanted to show you guys what I had, because um, you know, I wouldn't stay all those hours without any food. <coughs> Excuse me. I had one of these. These are the Quaker Oats um, fruit flavored uh, little packets of oatmeal. Um, they're very good. Uh, they're like 130 calories for each and I think like 30 something. I don't know, the carbs is on there, but they're very good to have. They are very fast to cook and eat and they fill you up for a very long time. So I have that in between breakfast and this, which is dinner. Um, drink water all day I didn't have anything else I was kind of craving almond milk but I remember that I gave a lot of it to my kids this week and I'm thinking about switching them from cow's milk to almond milk because I feel like it's much healthier so I might be making that switch for them but um yeah I feel like there's something I'm forgetting oh yeah okay so by the time so I stopped eating at 6 p.m. it used to be 7 p.m. but I noticed 6 p.m. actually works really good with me too so in from 6 p.m. to like whenever I wake up in the next on the next day in the nighttime I have a cup of green tea now this is um Walmart brand I have one of these um, depending on how I feel maybe I'll have it with some sugar and I'm talking about regular sugar regular white sugar that has carbs I'll have that I'll have like a spoon or I'll have um, two spoons or I just won't have any sugar at all because I'm capable of drinking just green tea the way it is. So, um, after I have my dinner, throughout the night, if I still find myself feeling hungry, I would have some green tea. Or if I'm not even hungry, I make sure I have like one cup of green tea every day. I think that's what really helps me out too. The fact that I have green tea every day and the fact that I fast throughout the night from a certain amount of time to a certain amount of time. I think that's what really is bringing my weight loss down each day or how many days it'll be, because it's not gonna probably be each day um, the more I lose weight, but. Yeah, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. I'll definitely be making more um, what I eat in a day videos. Uh, I just wanted to do this one because it's, 
I'm sure some people probably Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I would love to hear from you guys. I'm always on YouTube, so comment. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so you know I'm going to get back to these comments. Definitely comment. If you like my content, definitely subscribe. If you want more videos, if you want different types of videos, let me know. I am so here. I'm so ready for this. And if you guys are on this journey, too, I wish you guys so much so much success and so much blessings that you guys, I hope that you guys do succeed. Um, always remember, guys, to stay beautiful, love yourself, and never give up. You got this. Bye.